Grounded has always been a solid idea on paper, and Obsidian brings that potential to full flourishing for launch, delivering on the thrills and fun of its brilliantly Spielbergian conceit. A lot has happened for Obsidian Entertainment since releasing Grounded into Early Access over two years ago. In that time, the developer has announced a sequel to The Outer Worlds, a first-person RPG named Avowed, and Pentiment, a historical narrative adventure due out in just a few weeks' time. That's a hell of a lot of plates for one studio to keep spinning, so you could be forgiven for seeing Grounded's transition into a fully launched product as a case of Obsidian putting its small-scale experimental survival game out to pasture, closing the books on development in order to move on to bigger things. Luckily, the truth is far from that. Science. Grounded 1.0 not only celebrates all that Obsidian has achieved so far with this game, but points to a hopefully long and fruitful future for this quirky, yet unabashedly charming cocktail of survival-based storytelling. My mom always says I light up a room. Grounded may look small at first glance, but don't be fooled. This latest iteration cements its status as a mighty addition to the Game Pass catalog. While Obsidian has always pitched Grounded as a blend of survival crafting and classic role-playing, the game has spent much of its time in early access leaning more towards the former, as narrative threads fell away the further you sunk into the adventures of its miniaturized teens trapped in a mad scientist's backyard. Ali, who? Grounded's full release fully changes all of that, offering a complete campaign that will let you unearth the mystery of who shrunk them, learn about the true nature of their perilous habitat, and finally go big and go home. Soon for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. It's a mystery that's absolutely worth pursuing to the end, as this is where both Obsidian's well-known knack for world building most successfully intertwines with its clear, unabashed adoration for 90s nostalgia. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. The questing hums along with a decent tempo too, rewarding your engagement with grounded survival crafting systems via a steady drip of narrative beats to enjoy as well as sites to uncover as you explore the backyard and its many, many secrets. Whoa, Pete. Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. Just where in the world are you? Hello? Hello? While it's still a far cry from the kind of depth and role-playing simulation typically seen from Obsidian titles, the Grounded campaign finally feels like a story that lives up to the studio's reputation, in spite of the compromises made in sustaining the game's foundations as a survival crafting experience. That survival crafting foundation is stronger than ever in Grounded 2, not least because this latest update sits atop a heap of new features and improvements that have been added to the game and iterated on over the past two years. Whether playing alone or with up to three friends online, the urge to explore, conquer, and invest yourself in Grounded's ecosystem remains ever compelling, thanks to the vast wealth of progression paths to engage with. Better yet, the sense of immersive adventuring is particularly palpable whenever Grounded leans into the horror of what it means to be running around at the bottom of the backyard food chain. Much has been said about the game's arachnophobia mode, which helpfully offers a spider slider for customizing the appearance of Grounded's most fearsome foes. But when you run into your first eight-legged apex predator for yourself, with its fangs bearing and eyes reddened, the temptation to head straight into that settings menu is palpable. For all its creativity, however, Grounded doesn't do much to avoid the familiar trappings of the genre either. 
occasionally falling into the humdrum of survival crafting grind as you invest hours into gathering up heaps of resources to build your shelter or simply keep your hunger and thirst at bay. These gameplay loops are popular for a reason, of course, and some of you will happily cycle through them for all their merit. For those of you who aren't as taken by such genre staples, it's worth emphasizing that Grounded merely builds upon, rather than subverting or transcending the iconic rhythms of the survival crafting template. In that same vein, Grounded's user interface could also benefit from further streamlining. The crafting, building, progression, questing, and inventory systems are all fairly extensive, but Grounded's awkward menu management doesn't make the navigation of those systems as simple or straightforward as they should be, at its absolute worst, actively resisting against the player's intuition. And then of course there is combat, which could be best described as more function than form, a perfunctory means to an end, rather than an enjoyable experience in and of itself. The addition of new boss fights, such as the fan-requested Praying Mantis, do bring some welcome diversity to the action, and there's plenty of choice when it comes to weaponry, but fighting the many bugs and beasties of Grounded still lacks the inventiveness found in other Obsidian titles like The Outer Worlds. And we would love to see the studio bring more of that combat flavoring to Grounded going forward. There's no mistaking that Grounded's visuals impressed from day one of its early access launch, executing a cohesive artistic vision with creative flourish and some genuinely fantastic lighting effects. That's no less true today, especially on Xbox Series X, where Obsidian takes full advantage of the console's capacity for 4K resolutions at higher frame rates. By the power of Helion, champion of the sun! The backyard has developed into an immersive jungle of diverse biomes and points of interest. The locations range from a murky fish pond to a literal sandbox. Grounded's ability to find the awe-inspiring in the everyday is and always will be one of its greatest achievements, rivaling the most epic fantasy settings in spectacle without ever leaving its own backyard. Obsidian has also addressed the majority of bugs that were so prevalent during the first year of early access. Insects no longer clip in and out of the ground, crashes are now few and far between, and many quality of life improvements make for a smoother, more sophisticated experience overall. That's not to say that Grounded is entirely error-free, but it certainly has earned its way out of early access. And with Obsidian remaining committed to further updates down the road, it's only going to become more optimized over time. The most promising feature of Grounded is that there's always room to grow, and even if Obsidian did call it quits right now, it could do so being proud of what it's accomplished here. This small game with a big heart is ultimately a successful experiment, and while the tension between its two identities of role-playing and survival crafting result in some noticeable tension points, the marriage between the two remains a happy union overall. Like its motley gang of playable teens, Grounded is gusty, a little awkward, and still going through some growing pains. Yet Obsidian's pocket-sized odyssey is so bursting with personality and imagination, you simply can't help but root for it. We give the official 1.0 release of Grounded 3.5 out of 5 stars. Let us know if Grounded breaking out of early access is enough to pull you back in, and subscribe to GamesRadar on YouTube, and we'll see you on the next one.